Okay, um, does it ever happen to you guys that you have lost your remote in the house somewhere? Um, uh, fortunately, I, I have my remote here today, but does it ever happen that you have lost your remote in your couch and not able to find it or somewhere else? My son keeps replacing it all the time, so... Uh, Sorry, not replacing, misplacing it every time. <laughs> so, um, if you have Echo, and one of the solutions that I'm coming up with, which might be available pretty soon for public use, uh, is Harmony with Alexa. Mm -hmm. You don't need a third-party app or anything. Never mind. Mm -hmm. I wasn't able to understand the question I heard. There she is. Uh, she heard me saying the wake up word and therefore she wake up. So I have this Harmony Hub and uh, I purchased it at Best Buy and uh, it came with a remote there. Uh, it's a pretty basic remote, does uh, basic things of uh, turning on a couple of activities um, the nice thing is these all buttons of activities are uh, are dual activated um, if you long press it it has one activity if you short press it it does something else some other activity so you can configure six of them um, apart from them it this remote is pretty contextual whatever activity you're working on and the volume channel or everything becomes correspondingly uh, associated to the device that is active the play pause stop record uh, so it's it's pretty pretty slick for what it does so I have Alexa here um, who I have configured with uh, Harmony Hub through Amazon Web Service and all that I have to do is uh, um, speak the activity words and uh, it's gonna bring up uh, the activities on the TV here I have a TV, I have a receiver uh, and uh, the receiver is connected with uh, um, if you can see there is an Amazon Fire Stick uh, and uh, I can switch it to the desired uh, input. So all that is configured using Harmony. As you can see, I have a couple of activities here. Uh, watch TV, watch YouTube, I have Kodi, watch Prime, and listen to music. And I can say, hey, uh, um, so let's say if I don't want to use my remote, I can just say, hey, Alexa, ask Harmony to start activity Watch YouTube. Starting Watch YouTube. As you can see now, my TV turns on and it's a smart TV, so it has a couple of softwares inbuilt into it. You would see that Harmony. I don't know if it's visible here or not, but let's try it. Um, you would see Harmony switching the input. You can see it firing next, 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 next. And it does a YouTube selection. And it will bring on YouTube. I can tell Harmony now to reduce the volume and whatever volume it is, uh, it's going to decrease the volume on, on the device. I'm going to instruct Alexa to do that. What's the to-do? Never mind, Alexa. Canceling. Alexa, ask Harmony to turn the volume down. Okay. As you can see that, it just went to 9. Alexa, ask Harmony to increase the volume five times. Okay. 
Looks like it's coming up. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. It's on. Uh, on volume 14 now. I'm going to decrease the volume to pretty low. Let's see. Alexa, mm -hmm. ask Harmony to decrease the volume seven times. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Okay. Um, so it's now nine, eight. All right. Um, I can ask Harmony to go right using Alexa. Alexa, mm. ask Harmony to go right. Mm. Go right. Mm. Go right three times. Mm. I guess I haven't built the right thing into this three times yet. But it's a work in progress. Um, I can also say that, hey, uh, Alexa, ask Harmony to go select. You can see that it's going to go select that video and it's going to play it. Alexa, ask Harmony to decrease the volume two times. Okay. And see that it's going to decrease the volume now. Alexa, mm. ask Carmen to go select. Mm. As you can see, the the focus was on the pause, so it automatically when it okay. press. I said go select. It automatically press selected. Alexa, mm. ask Carmen to go select. Mm. Now, since the mm. okay. Now since the, the the focus was already on skip ad, it did the skip ad thing. Alexa, mm -hmm. ask Harmony to go select. That's gonna. Mm -hmm. Okay. You will see that that's. Uh, Alexa, mm -hmm. ask Harmony to go play. Alexa. Ask Harmony to play the movie. Okay. I guess the play action is not applicable to this device yet, so it doesn't do anything. But let's see. Alexa, ask Harmony to go select. As you can see, it's now. Uh, trying to load and once it's loaded I guess the internet is pretty sluggish right now but you can see that it started playing so I can say Alexa ask Harmony to pause the movie okay as you can see the the pause with the flare on is applicable it does the play pause I can Tell it to play or stop. Alexa, mm. ask Harmony to play the movie. Mm. Okay. Alexa, mm. ask Harmony to stop the movie. Mm. Okay. And we're back. I can ask it to start some other activities like. Um, this is my receiver, uh, which is activated when I start one of the activities on my cell phone called Cody or Prime or listen to music. So I can say, Alexa, start activity watch Prime. As you can see, I have an activity called Prime. Uh, she didn't listen. Uh, let's try it again. Alexa. Ask Harmony to start activity Watch Prime. Starting Watch Prime. So it's going to turn on my receiver. As you can see here, it's going to change my input on the TV to HDMI 1 and bring the input here into 
HDPC and here it will switch it to uh, Amazon Prime Home. I can control it from here uh, just the way I was doing earlier left, right, play, pause, back, everything that's available on a remote plus more like volume controls and stuff like that if it, it supports. I can tell it to mute it, I can tell it to do stuff what is applicable to the device. Let's say uh, I can tell it to switch to another activity like Watch Cody. Cody is one of the apps that I have installed on uh, on this watch, no sorry, Amazon Fire Stick. So I can say Alexa, ask Harmony to start activity Watch Cody. Starting Watch Cody. It's going to switch the inputs if it needs to, but since it doesn't need to, it's just going to change things on the screen, you'll see. It's going to go select. Now it's going to go we'll select this, then OK, and then uh, something here. Alexa, mm -hmm. ask Cody to go back. Mm -hmm. Alexa, that's listening. Um, Stop. Alexa, mm -hmm. ask Harmony to go back. I guess the go back is not applicable here. Um, I can try go to another activity like watch or listen to music uh, and I'll switch the input on uh, my tuner. Alexa, start activity listen to music. Alexa, ask Harmony to start activity music. Starting music. Well, you will see that my TV is turned off and my input has changed to auxiliary. And if I want, I can control the volume too. Um, or I can say, Alexa, mm. ask Harmony to power off everything. Mm. Okay. And it will switch off any device that's activated. So that's pretty much my Harmony. Um, implementation through Alexa uh, plus what I'm planning to do uh, additionally is uh, when you have these activities you should be able to access the devices individually by interacting with Alexa you can say hey um, Alexa turn the volume up on the TV or something like that and it should turn the volume up on on the TV or you can say, hey, Alexa, switch the input on the TV and things like that that is supported by the, the Harmony API. It's pretty, pretty nice um, uh, API that you have with Harmony. And uh, Harmony Hub is just the thing I was looking for for a long time. So it works for me, I hope. It works for the, for you guys out there so uh, on the code part the code on Amazon web service I'm gonna walk you guys through sometime later after I put it on github um, so that's a to-do thing um, so that's that's my demo of my uh, Harmony hub interacting with Amazon Alexa or Amazon Echo no mind hmm. I'm not sure what you meant by that question. So she wakes up every time she hears she hears her name. She usually sits across the room there, and uh, she can hear me pretty good uh, while I'm watching TV. I'll be sitting on the recliner, and Alexa would be across there in that on that island uh, pocket office, and then my. Media system is here, which she controls from there, and I don't have to have my remote all the times so while I'm sitting here. Um, so that's that's the harmony with 
Amazon Echo. Thank you for watching.